on YouTube, what's going on Lion's Den, this is Foxboy7006 back, um, I know I just made the, my video about the draft and the recap about that, but I just wanted to, to talk about something real quick, I wanted to talk about one of the newest players we just drafted, and of course if you read the, uh, if you read the title of the video, it, this is about Jake Rudock, um, there are some people that are saying that, you know, oh, you know, what, why the hell did we take this guy? Why the fuck did we take this guy? He's not going to be any good. Um, guys, let me ask you something real quick. Um, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck do you think Dan Orlovsky is doing? Dan Orlovsky sucks a dick. He can't throw the ball worth a shit. Even with a great offensive line, Dan Orlovsky sucks. Out of all the games that Dan Orlovsky has played for us, I think like ninety five percent. I think like ninety percent of those games he's lost. We've lost because of him. And I actually just seen a video where one of a video that one of his mistakes. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't know what year it was, but all I know is that he we were playing against the Minnesota Vikings in Minnesota, and he just moses his way. He. He runs out of the end zone. He runs out of bounds in the end zone. Creating a safety. Losing two points and giving the ball back to the Vikings. I'm like... <laughs> and I, I, I'm, in, I'm in the uh, Detroit Lions Facebook page and I share it to that. But holy shit. <laughs> I watched that video and I'm like... Why did we re-sign this? Why did we re-sign him? I mean, seriously, why did we re-sign Dan Orlovsky? I don't know. I'll never understand why. But all I know is that Jake Rudock was talking about in an interview and in his introductory conference call or whatever it is they call it, saying that, oh, I'm only thinking short term. You know, I want to learn as much as I can from Matthew Stafford and Dan Orlovsky because they have many more years underneath their belt. Um, Jake Rudock, if you're watching this video, let me tell you something, dude. Um... You're way better than Dan Orlovsky is, for one. And two, you don't make the same mistakes that he would have made. Oh my god. <laughs> Jake, you need to you need to make the team and stay with the Lions. You need to make a name for yourself. I mean, seriously, I don't want to hear none of this, oh, just short-term bullshit. I don't want to hear none of that shit. And another thing I want to bring up is an article that I read recently where Bob Quinn with Bob Quinn himself even said that it is best for business in the NFL to draft a quarterback if not once a year every other year to draft a quarterback. Now, see there's upsides and there's downsides to that. Upsides is for just in case God forbid if you if the backup quarterback if your main quarterback gets hurt and you have a backup quarterback that that's does okay but he's not the best you'll bring in another bring in another star that could possibly help back us up back them up but but the downside is if you have a great quarterback and a great backup and you know maybe you you don't need another quarterback but i do trust his judgment but i'm just gonna say this i know a lot of people a lot of people are saying oh you're only you look like, like jake real because you're a michigan fan you don't you, because we got two guys from Michigan. You're only like that because you're a Michigan fan. Guys, let me let me tell you something. Jay Grudock is so much fucking better than Dan Orlovsky. I'm telling you right now, he is. Because Dan Orlovsky, he cracks under the pressure. goes, oh, 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 shit, oh, shit, oh, oh, God. I've never seen Jay Grudock do that when he was playing for Michigan. And, I mean, granted, I've been to a couple of the games. And I've seen all of his games. And, yeah, he did kind of scramble a little bit. But he always found a way out. And plus, Jay Grudock is athletic. He's a fucking monster when he when he wants to be. And <laughs> he is a much more he is much more mobile, and he can throw the ball. Matthew Stafford, he's a he's a pocket passer. He just goes like, whew, whew, whew. that's all Matthew Stafford does. If Matthew Stafford gets under pressure, he runs to the side. And he slides like a bitch. Jake Rudock won't do that. I can guarantee it. I just really hope the best for him. I really hope to God he makes the team. And if he at least, you know, makes makes a good backup at least for now. And God forbid if anything happens to Matthew Stafford, then we got Jake Rudock. I mean, that's just me. So, 
the one thing that really pissed me off and really, really disappoint me is that if he does really well, but the next thing you know, they still give the spot to Dan Orlovsky. That would piss me off. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Um, what else? Um, I know that some people didn't want Jay Grudock. They wanted someone. They wanted someone else. But let me ask you guys something. Connor Cook went to the Oakland Raiders. I didn't. I didn't want him. I'm not saying that because I'm a Michigan fan that he's Michigan State. I'm not saying it because of that. I'm saying it because Jay Grudock is overall a better quarterback than Connor than Connor Cook is. And I've read that, and I have seen the stats of both Connor Cook, and I've seen the stats of of the other quarterbacks. I mean, granted, there's one I can't remember the guy's name, but I know there was one who was better than Jake Rudock. but he got he got chosen as the number one overall pick. I don't remember his name, but I know he was from California, and he went to the Rams. So if we had got if if he was if he was available. And we had taken if we had taken him over Jake Rudock, that I can see. I mean, I can see that, but no, that's not the case. The way I'm seeing it, guys, the draft overall this year was amazing. I questioned a couple of the picks, but the main point in this video was to tell you guys, hey, stop complaining about Jake Rudock. Just because he's from Michigan, a lot of you guys are saying, oh well, he's not gonna be all that great. Um, let me let me tell you guys something. And I know you probably, probably guys are probably going to say, why the hell are you comparing him to Tom Brady? I'm just going to say this right now. Tom Brady, he was selected as the 100, 199th overall pick in 2000. Look where he's at now. Four-time Super Bowl champion. And it wouldn't surprise me if he makes it a five-time Super Bowl champ. I mean, I'm not saying Jake Rudock is Tom Brady. But I'm almost willing to bet anything with the right coaching, and if he and if we push him the right way, Jay Grudock could be a fucking monster, and he could be a great quarterback for us. And plus, and I'm just gonna, I, I'll, as a Michigan fan, I'll honestly say it: this was a dream come true to see what a Michigan star players come to the Lions. This it was my number one dream in, in football. As a fan, it was my dream to see a Michigan guy, a star a guy who's star in Michigan, he comes to the Detroit Lions. But that's just me personally. But anyways, um, I mean, you guys can disagree with me all the fuck you want. I don't give a shit. I honestly really don't care. That's, I mean, I'm. this is my opinion. So you guys can tell me how you feel about it in the comments below. You can subscribe and you can comment if you feel like it. But anyways, um, that's just me. And I don't, I don't think there's anything else I need to bring up, but uh, I'll just say this to you guys: Bob Quinn is a genius. As of right now, he's a fucking genius. He knows what the hell he's doing. So, anyways, guys, that's about it for me. Um, I do have to get up early for work, but um, anyways, I just wanted to make this video. And so, oh, excuse me, sorry. So, anyways, uh. I know that this Thursday, it, we're spo there's supposed to be more big news c concerning the Lions on Thursday. So I'll either try to make this video, I'll try to make that video either Thursday night when I get off work. Or sometime Friday because I'm not working. Or it might even be at, come Sunday or shortly after Sunday because I'll be moving. I'm not getting into that one. But anyways, uh, so that's pretty much it. So anyways guys, I'll update, I'll I'll. I'll post the update video as soon as I can after I after I make it. So, you guys, let's go Lions. And that Fox Boy Seven Thousand Six out.